Welcome back to the RV8 Sierra Alpha build. Today we're going to finish match drilling the stiffeners to the skin. We're going to get them deburred, dimpled, and then put away and move on to the skeleton, which will be in the next video. So come on along, let's get started. All right, guys, so I've got first set of uh, stiffeners lined up here on the rudder skin. They're all different sizes as we work our way up the rudder. What we're going to do now is we're going to clico each of these stiffeners down to the rudder skin. I'm going to match drill it to number 40. We're going to label these uh, so that we can differentiate between the stiffeners on this half of the skin versus the top half of the skin or right half of the skin. Then we're going to take everything off. We're going to deburr it, dimple it. So you probably noticed on the first set of stiffeners, I actually clecoed the stiffeners from the inside. It made it a lot more difficult to drill out some of these holes at the very edge of the, the rudder. It kind of peel that skin back a little bit. So it's a lot more difficult to reach. The nice thing with the new pre-punched plans, the stiffeners as well as the skin are already pre-punched. So I just had to line up the holes. So as you noticed on the right hand side of the stiffeners, what I ended up doing is clecoing them from the outside made it a whole lot easier to just drill all the holes down the row from the outside. Move the clecos to the, the drilled holes and then drill out the remaining holes to match them up. So now what we're going to do is simply take these stiffeners that we've just drilled out to size and then we're going to use a little deburr tool. This is a speed deburr tool and all you're doing is just, just enough to kind of loosen up the uh, or break off any deburrs left over from drilling it out so that way uh, there's no burrs on the metal that's going to cause any cracking or fracturing down the road so i'm going to throw it back in time lapse and speed that up for the rest of the stiffeners now here's just a tip as well that i like to do when i'm doing you know when you're you're doing a repetitive motion in this process because there's a lot of repetitive motions and it's real easy to forget what you have and haven't done yet because you, you do it so consistently. So you might notice that, I mean, I've got all my stiffeners for the right hand side of the rudder over here. So I keep them grouped together. I've got the left hand stiffeners over here, got them all in a nice order. And then basically as I go through, because it's such a repetitive motion, you want to stick with the same pattern as you uh, deburr these. So you'll notice I'm going to go all the way down at the bottom of the stiffener and then I'm going to come to the top of the stiffener and same thing I'm going to go from top to bottom and that way and then I'll kind of set it aside I'll work my way through and what that'll do is it allows me to maintain a consistency throughout so that you know if I accidentally drop the stiffener or something like that I know exactly where I was at with my work or at least know you know what side I was on things like that uh, rather than you know just over deburring because you can't remember if you deburred a hole or not if you do look close enough you can tell there's, there's just an ever so slight bezel where you have deburred it, but it just makes it a little bit more tedious versus if you just keep the same pattern, it makes it a lot easier. So 
now that we've got everything deburred, we're gonna go ahead and dimple these stiffeners as well. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit, use a pneumatic stiffener. And basically all you're gonna do is just make sure that you know which side is being dimpled so that you don't accidentally dimple it the wrong way. It is correctable if you do it, but it's a mistake you should try and avoid. So dimpling, all we're doing is we're essentially creating a, a countersink to match up with the skin. So you're just gonna place it in the hole, nice and easy, and then squeeze it. And then you can see what you end up with. It's a nice little dimple that the uh, rivet will be able to uh, sit right in. Now, of course, this is on the inside of the skin, so the rivet won't be directly sitting on here. It's gonna be flush with the skin, and the rivet's gonna be on the skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run through and dimple all of these. Now that we've got the stiffeners deburred and dimpled, the plans actually call for doing the exact same thing to the rudder deburring and dimpling the stiffener holes on the rudder skin and then priming and back riveting it on to the rudder skin. However, I'm going to hold off on that simply because I plan on priming everything. I won't get into the whole great debate of whether or not to prime or not to prime. It's certainly not necessary to prime. It's just the choice that I've chosen to make. So because I'm going to end up priming the rest of the skeleton as well, for the sake of convenience for me, I'm gonna wait until I can prime everything on the rudder together. For that reason, there's also a bunch more holes on the skin here that still have to be match drilled to the skeleton as well as deburred and dimpled. So again, I'm just gonna hold off on all of the skin work until I've got the rest of the holes match drilled and ready to be dimpled. Again, kind of comes down to that maintaining a consistent pattern. It's gonna be a lot easier to just go top to bottom, left to right, and do all the holes at one time, doing the same process for all of them, rather than doing some of the holes now, doing some of the holes later. For that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rudder skin away, put the stiffeners away. Now, one thing I did do is I just created a little bundle here, so matching up the 815s, A through H, on the right-hand side of the rudder. Uh, that's how I chose to label it. And then I've also got the left-hand side I just bundled up together again so they stay nice and neat together. I've also got each individual stiffener labeled, but that way it's just a lot easier to, to grab them and go once I get to that step. That's it for today's video. We finished prepping the stiffeners. They're all ready to be primed and then back riveted onto the skin. Next video, we're going to pre-assemble the rear spar. And there's a couple gotchas there, so make sure you click that subscribe button below uh, and also hit that like button. That way you can stay tuned on the next video when it comes out. I'll see you next time.